A Florida man is facing an animal cruelty charge after killing his fiancee's kitten. He claims it was just an accident. And now, apparently, so does his fiancee. Tonight, they tell their side of the story to WKRG News 5's Kimber Collins in Fort Walton Beach. The Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office charged James Miller this week for killing a kitten the day before Thanksgiving. According to the arrest report, Miller told his fiance Rose Beasley, he would kill the cat if it didn't stop whining. But Miller says that is not true. I started shouting, perhaps, please be quiet, for the love of God, stop whining. I never said anything about I'm going to murder this cat, I'm going to kill this cat, I have it in for this cat. Miller says he's battling early onset Parkinson's disease and is prone to falling. Miller says he came down the stairs that night and tripped over the living room rug. I felt my foot come down something and I realized that didn't feel right. I've never felt this before. So I moved my foot, I looked down and I saw the poor kitten and I said, oh God. Beasley says she came around the corner to find Miller with the dying kitten in his hands and started to argue with him. That's when the argument turned physical. Beasley grabbed a knife, the two struggled, and Miller was cut in the process. I attacked him and he fell and got hurt. And I was so upset over that, I called the police on myself. Beasley and Miller told deputies on scene what started the fight, which led deputies to learn about the dead kitten. Beasley was arrested that day for assault. OCSO filed a felony warrant for Miller two weeks later on the animal cruelty charge, and Miller turned himself in this week. I wish it hadn't happened, of course, but it was an accident. In Fort Walton Beach, Kimber Collins, WKRG News 5.